Hey guys, Alfred here with another video review. Today we'll be looking at the HIS Radeon HD7850 graphics card. HIS has been making excellent quality products for a long time and are famous for their in-house design IceQ graphics card heat sinks, featuring all sorts of heat pipe and various blower fan adaptations. This particular 7850 I have here is not an IceQ version however. HIS has still opted for a non-reference cooling solution, which I'll give you a, look, a closer look at later. I will also be overclocking this card and providing you guys with some benchmarks at the end of this review. Firstly, having a look at the box, HIS has put a large image of what they explain is Excalibur, as it denotes power and will bring you victory in battle. HIS explains that you will conquer the gaming world with this card. I'm not so sure about that, but the level of performance that the 7850 offers is unrivaled in this price range and as such this particular card is used extensively in our gaming computers here at Maximum PCs. Going along the bottom here, HIS is offering premium online support in case you run into any issues. AMD 7850 of course supports the latest PCI Express 3.0 which offers double the slot bandwidth of the previous generation. The card includes 2GB of onboard GDDR5 RAM and supports 4K video resolutions as well as one HDMI output. HIS has included some of their own overclocking and monitoring software called iTurbo which claims to offer simple one-click overclocking. I'll be taking a closer look at that later. Moving on to the sides we get a quick overview of what's inside the box. It's nice to see they've included a crossfire bridge for use with multiple GPUs. Looking quickly at the other side, some information about your motherboard requiring a PCI slot. Honestly, if you're still using AGP, your CPU would be bottlenecking this card anyway. So that's all pretty self-explanatory. One important thing to note here is that HIS recommends at least a 500 watt power supply, although 7850s which are manufactured using the new 28 nanometer process run fairly cool and are power efficient anyway, only needing one 6-pin PCI connector. Flipping over to the back we get a whole lot of information on the features of the 7800 series architecture from AMD. This card supports up to 6 displays in iFinity, however you need to use display port hubs. Keep in mind your third monitor and any subsequent ones have to natively support display port, otherwise you'll need to use active dongles for them to work. AMD's new GCN architecture uses 28 nanometer manufacturing processes, allowing them to pack 2.8 billion transistors into the Pitcairn GPU used here. Of course, this card supports the latest DirectX 11.1. AMD's HD 3D allows you to play games in 3D and watch 3D media, providing you have a 3D display. You get Dolby HD audio over the HDMI port. AMD app acceleration supports OpenCL and Direct Compute, which is particularly useful for speeding up some video rendering and editing programs. HD Media Accelerator, which basically allows for faster graphics processing. PowerPlay technology, which automatically adjusts clock speeds depending on load. One thing they haven't mentioned here is AMD's Zero Core Power technology, which actually turns off the second graphics card in a crossfire setup during idle which reduces heat and saves you power. Quickly moving on so that we can get to the unboxing, uh, PCI Express 3.0 slot as mentioned before, Crossfire X for combining more graphics cards and increasing performance. Note the 7800 series cards only have one Crossfire header so only a maximum of two can be used together. The GDDR5 VRAM as mentioned before Support for OpenGL 4.2, Shader Model 5, and finally the card has one HDMI, one DVI, and two mini display port connectors. We get a sleek looking black box inside. Opening up, we get a quick installation guide 
and under this foam the card itself. HIS has definitely improved the packaging of their products, opting to use this very thick closed cell foam around the whole card. It is very likely that this would survive a good beating from the courier. Taking the card out we can see that it takes up a standard two PCI slots. On the back we get one DVI, one HDMI, two mini display ports and some venting along the top here. Taking a look at the cooler itself, HIS has gone with a simple design. The heatsink itself does not appear to have any heat pipes and only cools the graphics core. The blue 92mm fan in the middle should provide enough cooling while being quiet at the same time. Its speed can also be adjusted in the catalyst control center or through the included iTurbo software I'll show you later. Looking around the back we have a 6 pin PCI power connector lurking underneath here and finally at the top of the card one crossfire connector for connecting up to two cards together. Underneath this foam and a cardboard spacer we get the accessories I mentioned before. First we have a warranty card some sort of cardboard pack with some goodies inside a crossfire bridge one DVI to VGA adapter a driver's disc as always download the latest from AMD's website Let's have a look to see what we get inside here. Uh, so we get the disk with HIS iTurbo software, a thick multi-language manual, and it's nice to see they've included a case badge here. Everyone knows how stickers increase performance. Now for some benchmark results. You can see here on our testbed we are using a Core i5-3470 CPU running at 3.8GHz coupled with 8GB of DDR3 RAM. This particular 7850 achieved a core clock of 1050MHz up from 860 and 1350MHz on the memory up from 1200. As a result we were able to score 6359 points in 3D Mark 11 on the performance setting. Ramping up to the extreme setting we, we get a score of 1438. Do note overclocking results can vary from card to card and you may not achieve the high clock speeds here. During testing the card remained quiet under full load and did not exceed temperatures of 60 degrees. So that's my overview on the HIS Radeon 7850. Overall it provides excellent performance while being quiet and running cool as well. As you can see, substantial overclocks could be made on this card, way beyond 7870 clock speeds. As always, be sure to check out MaximumPCs.com.au for more information and be sure to subscribe and check back for more video reviews coming soon.